Okay. The next one we have is the hard disk. This is what we mean by hard disk. This is the hard disk you use for your CCTV installation. Whenever you buy your materials, especially your DVRs, cameras, you have to buy this hard disk. Now, when it comes to hard disk, we have different terabytes. We have one TB, we have two TB, like two terabytes. We have a 500 gig, 500 gigabytes, one terabyte. We have two terabytes. We have three terabytes. We have four terabytes, then we have a uh, 8 TV. Now, depending on your number of channels, that will determine the number of uh, the type of terabytes you are going to make use of based on your hard disk. Now, if you are making use of, let's say, four channels, if you are, this is ideal for four channels. You can use it for eight channels. When it comes to 16 channel DVR, this is ideal for 16 channel DVR. You can equally use it for 8 channels. You can equally use it for 4 channels. When it comes to 3 terabytes, you can use it for 16 channels. You can use it for 32 channels. You can use it for 8 channels. You can use it for 4 channels. Now, the reason why you make use of higher TV for higher capacity of uh, your channel is that for footage recordings. Why you make use of higher terabytes for these channels is so that during recording it can effectively record for higher duration of time before overriding. So when you record when you are using one terabyte to record like let's say 32 channels, you notice that it may take like let's say one week and your hard disk will full and then it will start overriding. Okay, let's move to the next section. Okay. I'm going to show you how to connect this hard disk to your DVR. Now, come close, let me show you. We have these two terminals here. This first part you are seeing here, this is for the video part. Why this longer part you are seeing is for the power part. It's just simple. Bring the cable, plug into this, and plug into this. So any hard disk you are getting comes like this. Then the, when you buy your DVR, the connectors meant for this hard disk will be inside that DVR. And there are always two cables. One for the power and one for the signal part. Okay, let me show you. So we are going to unbox this, and this uh, DVR and fix this hard disk inside it. Okay, come, let me show you how to unbox it. So now we are going to lose this part, lose the back part, look for places you know that once you lose it, you will be able to remove this cover. Okay, so once this cover is removed after you have done losing it, this is what you will see inside of it. Okay, so this is what you will see inside of it. Come, let me show you. This is the CMOS battery. If this CMOS battery is dead for this DVR, the timing of this will keep on resetting anytime you own your DVR. But if this is still active, it will perfectly okay anytime you own it. The timing will still be as it is. This is the coolant to give air to this once you notice that this is heating up, it supplies air to this particular it powers on. So these are the two cables I'm talking of. So this is for the serial the, the, the signal part, while this is for the power part. This one is for the power part. Now, there are some cables, there are some DVR, like this DVR you are seeing here is two SATA DVR. There are some DVR that is one SATA. What I mean by two SATA is that, you see, 
everything that is here is double. This power pack, once I connect this power to this one, you will notice that the head is two. That means I can effectively put two hard disks inside this DVR. Now, this particular one, if I put this serial here, I can connect it to the first hard disk. Put another serial here, I connect it to the second hard disk. Why this one? This is for the first hard disk power, this is for the second hard disk power. So that call makes it two SATA. But when it is one SATA, you will only see one of these with one power key cord, just like this. Then you will see one of these uh, signal parts, which is just like this. Okay, how do you fix it? What you do is that you are going to connect this. I'm going to make use of only one section. You will see that this thing have like an L shape. Fix it in the same L shape that this thing have. You fix it and you are good to go. Then this part is where you are going to connect your hard disk. Now, this particular one, I will fix this one into this. Good. And then you choose only one and connect to your hard disk. Now, where is our hard disk? This is our hard disk. So, this particular one we are seeing here, we go to this part. Why this one? We go to this part. The same way you fix this one, locate the L shape too of this hard disk, which is this. I will fix it into this. Good to go. Then this particular one too have L shape. You are going to locate the L shape of this one and then you fix it again. So with this, you have actually set up this hard disk. Then what you do is that you are going to connect uh, the screws so that once you fix it here, you can easily tighten it. So you're going to bend it down, fix it like this, hold it, turn, your, turn the side, then you can lose this screw so that you can easily fix it inside. Okay, you lose it more, you lose this one more, good, you are good to go. Then you tight it. Once you are done, you tight. After tightening it, good, our hard disk is good to go, as you can see. So, this part, no need to connect it because it's only one hard disk we are making use of. If you are making use of two hard disks, you are going to put another hard disk here, connect this one to the power section, and then this second SATA, we are going to connect it to the serial part. So confirm that everything is well fixed before you cover your DVR. So once you confirm that everything is well fixed, you can now cover your DVR and then screw them up. Screw here, screw here, screw here, and you are going to have it. So this is how to fix hard disk inside media and get it ready for operation. So by Net Invest Limited, we give you the best when it comes to network, security and power. Thank you very much.